Hey, welcome to On The Chain. This is Jeff. You're here on the How To Review. Today, we are going to talk about Stellar, XLM. There are lots of projects building in this category using XLM, using the Stellar Foundation. Just as we see a lot of development with XRP and with Ripple and the XRP Ledger, there's tons of stuff going on. And sometimes we kind of sleep on the fact that the Stellar Foundation is growing and building. In fact, what's up? Stellar XLM up 342% year to date. And that's a fact. That's exactly what's going on. Let's get this thing started. And now, the hot review with Jeff on the chain. All right. So, so there, it's interesting. I've been looking around. I said, what should we do a video on today? Let's do it on XLM. I scrounged around for some articles. Just so happened that a couple days ago, May 10th to be exact, an article popped up talking about 20 XLM partnerships that actually have XLM investor and bulls. According to the title here is 20 XLM partnerships that have stellar lumen bulls hopeful. So what are these projects? What's going on within this space that is so important? Now, let me let me share this screen here because one of the things that we focus in on here is the Stellar Development Foundation has a brand new project that will allow users to access funds in their digital wallets and they're building that with Visa, with Tala, with Circle. I think that, you know, when you look at that, that, that's key. Now it says this partnership will have three companies working together to allow users to initially access USD coin, adding uh, to that Visa is part of the deal. So you have Visa, you have a company called Tally, you have Circle, all working with Stellar to actually bring digital assets to this space. It, you know, I, you know when, you, when you look at projects being built, projects being developed, you say, hey, if it's XRP, that's awesome. If it's Stellar and XLM, that's awesome. There's normalization Main Street coming to this space, which is, which is vital. It's so important. It's all important. So then you look at this list and you're like, holy cow, 20 different projects, 20 of them um, that are utilizing XLM, Stellar, in some way, shape, or form, they've established a partnership. Tangem, Zag. Finclusive, Flutterwave, ClickPesa, Uhura Wallet, CoinVest, Fireblocks, Tempo, Wire, MVB Workshop, tri what is this? Tribal Credit, Nodal, Firefly, CoWire, RippleFox, The White Company, StellarX, and LumenShine. And there's even more. You can go to another link and find more. Now, XLM has been up. X we saw XLM hit 73 cents up it's it's trending upwards even as the market fell into red xlm stayed strong in the 57 to 60 cent mark as i was making this video it was like 62 cents moving upwards closing in on all-time highs this is really representative of the entire market you might have some pullback some emotion some people selling because of what happened with some meme coins what happened on saturday night live with elon musk regarding dogecoin but the bullishness in the market is strong you see multiple groups multiple organizations that are looking at bitcoin as a foundation for a certain percentage of their cash on hand and if they're trending towards bitcoin they're going to trend towards ethereum if they trend towards ethereum the next in line and so on and so on all of these companies are looking for solutions that have been built to move money. Stellar happens to be one of those projects that moves money. Just like the XRP Ledger moves money efficiently. Stellar was a branch off allowing the manipulation and movement a little bit differently. Um, but it principle is the same. It's there to move money rapidly. That's important. Uh, you know, it's, it's significant you know, to the overall what's going on. So I have a camera malfunction. Therefore, we keep getting this little bit of a camera flash for no reason. 
uh, it, it shouldn't be happening. So, you know, so, so let's, uh, let's look at some of these projects. Let's go, let's go into it. So the first one, let's go here. So the first one is Tangium. What is Tangium? Organizations for you. Let's look for organizations, money, CBDCs. That's interesting. And a counterfeit identity. What is it? What is it good for the individual? We can go shopping. So let's go, let's look at what it is for identity. So identity, identity fraud, the most common committed crime in the U.S. as more businesses and individuals find out. So Tangem is a tamper-proof digital identity solution. It says here, guarantees secure and private storage, all private data by combining accountability, total control, all packaged in the simplicity of an NFC enabled cart. Now, I don't know if this will catch on, but they're trying, they're building, they're doing something. In some scenarios in big business, it could be very helpful, very impactful. Um, let's, let's look at what it said in money for CBDCs. They explain what it is, but Tangem offers fundamental como component to distribute the CBDC. And what is that? It's programmable money. We, we get that. It allows an infinite combination. Okay, uh, what is it going to do? Another card, another mechanism to distribute CBDCs. So this is more hardware, an NFC card, hardware driven. Talking about payments, getting money quickly to people that need it, allow them for quick transaction. Another one, the Finclusive mission to bring secure compliance centered, compliance centered banking to 2.5 to 3.5 billion people and businesses worldwide who are financially excluded or underserved. There's a lot of people around the world that are underserved, underbanked, unbanked completely. Um, on the live stream, we're touching a little bit about what's happening over in Africa. For the first time in technical revolution, you've seen an opportunity to not just give people food handouts and the United Nations running to, you know, so to help based on, you know, because they feel guilty for things, but here's an opportunity to help them build and do for themselves, develop the continent of Africa, bringing big business opportunities, bringing technology opportunities, bringing a mechanism to educate the people on coding and development of companies, orchestrate capitalism in Africa, in other countries around the world. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. It allows the unbanked, the many unbanked or underserved, even in India, wherever it goes to. So these are amazing private projects, not government sponsored, private projects that are reaching and saying we have 3.5 billion people to take advantage. Imagine how much money is there with 3.5 billion people. I think that's great. Then we get into click PESA, streamline your business payments. Again, in combination with Stellar, in combination with XLM. Run your business in East Africa easier and reduce time and cost keeping track of administration. This is geared up towards Africa, but I think it could be good everywhere. Collect payments, disperse payments, electronic invoice, a CRM. It has everything built into it. I think it's a great idea. Um, let's look here. Fireblocks, build, run, and scale a profitable digital asset business. Don't know exactly what that means. Let's look. Fireblocks is an all-in-one platform to store, transfer, and issue digital assets across your entire ecosystem. It's a way for business to get involved. 250 of the largest institutional players have already switched trading, brokerages, exchanges, banking, payments, a ton going on there. Look at this. Microsoft recognizes Fireblocks' security trailblazer with 2020 award nomination. Securely access DeFi for international institutional trading, lending, and, and staking. <clears throat> Next one, Wire. <clears throat> so, super simple payment APIs to build your vision. An easy mechanism to plug in these APIs to bring payment structure to all of, look at this, MetaMask, OpenSea, Bird, Maker, OpenNode. They're all using them. What do they have? Accept payments, global payouts, account onboarding, crypto wallet, crypto and FX, plus savings. It's amazing, right? 
So why are utilizing and partnering uh, with the with Stellar Foundation? Here's Stellar X, a better way to trade. So here's a trading platform. Here they're allow you can trade Bitcoin for Euro. Even the Chinese Yuan is in on this one on Stellar X. So let's see the markets. There you go. Oh. Anyhow, so you can try uh, Stellar X. You can check it out. Let's go to the next one. Ripple Fox. I found this one to be interesting. Um, this one is, uh, uh, let's see here. Hang on a second. Where is, oh, there it is. That might help. Oh, my, my uh, brightness just turned way, way down for some reason. Ripple Fox, safe, reliable, decentralized gateway. Also one of the most well-known decentralized exchanges in the world, Ripple Fox. Look, okay, you can use Ripple, which is XRP, Stellar, Bitcoin. I don't know, maybe some of these are defunct at this point. I don't know if these are, are still going. Since 2014, not sure if they've uh, made any changes to their solution here. Look at that. That's so cool. I love that. Look at this. So they have the star of the show, right? Ripple, the... What is this? Uh, Utila Ledger. That's who we got here. The UI Utila, Utila Ledger. <laughs> Stellar is open network. They kind of explain what it is. It's over in China, by the way. Here's another one. The historical value of the XRP. So if you wanted to see where we really were January 1, where we got 342% gain. January 1, sitting at 14 cents at its high, 12 cents at its low. For XRP and then if we are XRP XLM. We're talking about Stellar XLM. We go all the way forward. Look at that. We had a high of 74 cents, a low of 59. That's that's huge. That's big. That's really big. You know, so you know that that's a high of 74 is near an all-time high uh, for XLM. We don't need all this. Sitting at 61 cents right now. Uh, you know, this is this has been you know, it's a great way to kind of dive in. We can go through and spend lots of time analyzing each one of those projects, uh, but it's it's really key, critical to understand the direction that another asset's going. Hey, if you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe, hit the bell notifier, go check out our other channel. We stream every single day, Sunday through Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I'll check you out and look forward to seeing you on the next one. I'm out. Are you down with OTC? Please like, subscribe and click the bell to be notified when the next video drops.